What's up guys? We are here to expose some more nutrition myths and today's nutrition myth is why fad diets are making you fat. So first off, what is a fad diet? A fad diet is a popular diet, whether it be from a celebrity talking about it in the mass media or just somebody talking about how you can lose weight in a short period of time. And there's a lot of different fad diets out there. Some of the common ones that you're going to hear are the keto diet, the paleo diet, intermittent fasting diet, etc. So we're gonna talk about why fad diets probably aren't the best way to manage weight loss. And typically the reason is because with any fad diet, you're gonna be limiting calories by eliminating certain food sources and food groups. And anytime that we do that, it's most likely not sustainable for the most, for, for the majority of people. Yeah, you're going to see weight loss and you can see that weight loss in a short period of time. But a lot of these fad diets that are out there, a lot of people don't realize that you are restricting certain foods, you're really restricting calories. So, you know, you can see the results in that short period of time, but then you have to commit to that pretty much your entire life if that's the way that you want to lose weight. So. Since you're restricting certain types of foods, say like the keto diet, it's gonna be a very high fat diet. You are restricting a lot of carbohydrates. So let's say, you know, you wanna veer off of the keto diet and go back to just normal eating. Well, now your body may not respond as well to incorporating the carbohydrate groups that you were eliminating for a while. So we wanna find a diet that is gonna be sustainable for personally you. And a lot of these fat diets may be may resonate with you due to certain medicinal issues or certain intolerances. And if so, then that's great. Yeah, so like some common ones, you like again, keto. There actually is a lot of research to show that following the keto diet is really great for actually pediatric with, um, with seizures. So it can actually help control seizures and decrease the amount and frequency of them happening. So when you're restricting certain food groups, just do whatever diet you are following. A lot of the time, you know, because you have that restriction, some people usually like to go more ham and eating that um, just because they haven't had it for so long. So that is where you can kind of see more of that weight gain pretty fast after ending a fad diet um, and that's why we find it really important to follow a diet where you can work in a variety of different foods it's just being really mindful about serving sizes and moderation so another reason why fad diets may make you gain weight is due to the fact that the unsustainability a lot of times when you do incorporate those food sources back into your diet like lauren was talking about we actually have a lot of data to support you actually can regain that weight back that you lost before going into that fad diet so what it comes down to ultimately is finding a diet that's sustainable for you and it doesn't necessarily have to be a fad diet